everyone. I am Shubhata Bhattacharya. I got AIR 10 in GATE 2018 in electrical stream. I got call from each and every PCUs like Well, ONGC, IOSL, etc. So in this video, I will want to share my interview experience in ONGC. So first let me give you a brief about ONGC. ONGC stands for Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. It's a Maharatna status PCU working under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So it is India's um, largest oil and gas exploration and production company. Um, on January 30th, to, uh, 2018, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation acquired the entire 51.11% stake of Hindustan Petroleum Corporation or HPCL. So, coming to the interview part, my interview was on uh, 5th June 2018 uh, at Scope Minna, New Delhi. I appeared for the post AWE electrical. I reached there by 8 as my interview was scheduled at uh, 8.30 uh, a.m. First of all, we were taken to a conference room at the top floor of Scope Miner. There, a PowerPoint presentation about the company is shown to us. So, then we waited there for document verification. In ONGC, you don't have to uh, submit any hard copy okay, of any document because uh, you have to upload the document um, uh, copies of all your documents before downloading the interview call letter and uh, then on the interview day you what you have to do is that you just have to produce the originals to them they will verify the scanned copies with the originals there um, before the interview so there is no GD or GT in ONGC so after document verification you will be taken straight to the interview room by a staff member there when I entered into the interview room there were five members in the panel, including a lady. Uh, they were asking both technical and HR questions. I have listed the questions they asked me in my profile in Quora. Uh, to follow me in Quora if you are interested about them. So, link is given in the description box below. Uh, by the way, I am reading them out once for you. First question was, introduce yourself as usual. So, as I have said already, to answer this question, you can uh, go in order like first greet the interviewers, then tell them your name, your age, where you're from, your educational qualification, your hobbies, your aim in life, your strengths, weakness, etc. Okay, thus you can give them a complete description about yourself. So, my next question was, uh, did you read today's newspaper? Tell me some interesting news then. So, to answer this type of questions, as I have already advised you in my previous video, that read newspaper daily, uh, at least be updated with some current affair topics. Okay. Uh, so, next question was, uh, have you applied for any other PSUs? What are they? So tell them honestly that where you have applied, what are the PUCs you have applied beside ONGC. Next question was why ONGC not other PSU. See, again you have to be ready with this kind of questions as I have already advised you in my previous video. Because they will generally ask you this type of questions, you know, to each and every candidate they are asking this type of questions. So be prepared with the answer to this question beforehand so that you can produce it smartly in front of them okay next question was why don't you want to join core electrical companies there you have to show your interest and passion towards the largest e and p company of india so have a clear idea about the company profile and your job profile there so that you can convince them or give them answer satisfactorily okay so, uh, next question was, what are the products of ONGC? What does ONGC stand for? So, you know, products are mainly crude oil and natural gas. Beside that, ONGC has 
uh, taken structured initiatives to um, tap unconventional energy sources like uh, coal bed methane or CBM, underground uh, coal gasification, UGC, sail gas and gas hydrates or unconventional energy sources like solar wind etc. So you can tell them and you know the full form which stands for Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited. So my next question was from technical part. What is transformer? So as uh, I have answered to them is that a uh, transformer is a static electromagnetic device. Uh, which transfers electrical energy from one electrical circuit to another circuit without any direct electrical connection between them. So next they asked me then tell me uh, you said that a transformer is a static device. So now tell me some name of some rotating machine. So I told them that DC machine, synchronous machine, induction machines are some rotating machines. Then they asked me tell me the principle of DC motor. You are seeing that the technical questions are very basic, right? So, uh, if you have read some standard books uh, during your gate preparation, you can easily tell them about the principle of operation of DC motor. It's a basic question, comes within two to three pages of DC machine chapter, right? So, my next question was, what is the function of computer in DC motor? So. First, hear the question clearly whether they are asking the function of commutator in DC motor or in DC generator because the functions are different. Okay, in DC motor, commutator converts the direct current into alternating current. <coughs> so that AC voltage is developed in the armature so as to have a unidirectional torque, right? But uh, so in a DC motor, computer basically acts as an inverter. But in case of DC generator, computer acts like a rectifier. So please hear the question clearly that whether they are asking the function of computer in DC motor or DC generator. Hmm? Next, they ask me what are different components in DC machine. You can answer it um, uh, very easily. Armature windings on rotor, field windings on stator, bearings. Uh, then uh, slip rings, rotor shaft, stator core, commutator, etc. Next question and last question was who is your role model and why? Now this is a general nature question and answer will vary from person to person. You can answer it very easily. As for me, it was Rabindranath Tagore and I told them about my passion for uh, Rabindra Sangeet. That's why. <laughs> so. What I will suggest is that uh, I have already suggested to every aspirant who is going to appear for PSU interview to remember certain key points like uh, prepare well about the company profile, okay, uh, prepare the answer to the question like tell me about yourself, then why you want to join this company, then a brief about your BE project. Uh, and please read the newspapers daily because uh, in where the GD or GD they will also be helpful okay and please uh, have clear idea about your basic laws of electrical engineering because they are quite frequent so for technical interview uh, prepare mainly electrical machines power systems in power systems mainly prepare like transmissions etc next some um, special topics like SCADA uh, then facts fact devices etc some basics about power electronics also so see you are going to attend this uh, PSU interviews because you have secured a very good get rank right so focus mainly on HR questions and try to tackle them smartly that's all okay that's all is expected from you so uh, please focus on the HR part mainly and have your basics clear so uh, that's all for this video if you want more videos like this then uh, please put a query in the comment box below and I will try my best to solve your queries and uh, now focus on your great preparation with great enthusiasm and uh, all the best